All right, bad news, everyone. Uh, we're missing our wheels. Oh, for the love of God. Are they going to spawn in soon? I think maybe we should go back and uh, reset and change the weather while we're at it. Yeah, yes, no. No, thank you. Sure, our wheels will spawn in this time. Gordon, I don't see why you get to be at the controls. Why do you get to restart the world over and over because you don't like that you're missing wheels, but I don't get to change the weather? We can't control the weather, Henry. Mankind has never been able to control the weather throughout our long and vast history. Gordon, we're engines. Ah, yes! Wheels! Sweet wheels! Oh, wonderful wheels! Now, I'm taking the turntable first. Did anyone else see that it just jutted to the right position? Ah, uh, yeah. It was pretty unsettling. Oh, I mean, it seemed very efficient to me. It was very unsettling. Okay, backwards is forwards and forwards is backwards. Great. I hate when that happens. Ooh, this is a nice, big turntable. What's this made for? An entire express? <laughs> I think it's American, Gordon. Ugh, never mind. Here I come! Uh-oh. Uh what bloody idiot put this in the way? Quickly, the points! Somebody change the points! Meanwhile, in the signal box... Oh, bloody hell! Why is it... Well, he's got to slow down! Jesus Christ! Gordon, stop! Stop! Is that Gordon I hear? Oh, no. Oh, no. Hmm. Why do I hear the voice of a horribly disfigured Alfred? I'm sure I'm just... In, I'm, I'm just envisioning it, I'm sure. Uh, I will get Thomas for this. Cursed with his face. And no one look at my bogeys. All right, then. Here we go. I can't believe... Oh! Uh, uh. <laughs> you fool, Gordon. I'll now taunt you in your final moments. See my true form, you bloody bastard! Oh, this is... <gasps> Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, you look terrible. Uh, never mind. I, I changed my mind. What? You're not even willing to show your disgusting form to a dying man? You really have stooped low, Alfred. Very low. In my last moments, I laugh at you. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Ah. Oh, come on. Oh, that's it. I, am I going to disappear or not? You know what? I'm hitting reset. No, not fair. Gordon, hold on. I... <sighs> All right, Gordon. Edward speaking. I think it would be advantageous to turn off derailments. Is that a feature in this version of the game? Uh, I don't know. Let me check. Oh, so you take Edward's advice, but you won't take mine. Um, yes, because Edward knows a thing or two. It's not what you said last week, but okay. Hmm, derailments. I, I don't see derailments anywhere. All right, we're going back. Gordon, you are really delaying this, you know that? Well, some things must be delayed to be done perfectly. And I have a date with destiny. If I pull those narrow-gauge coaches well enough, perhaps I will be, uh, rewarded. Clean them up. Let's clean them up never, how about? <laughs> Or how about 15 minutes? There. A long, painful death. <laughs> A warrior's death. Oh, good heavens. 
derailment realism. There we go. Edit. Realism to none. Arcade. Realistic. I guess arcade. I, I don't know. I don't even know what that is. I've never done that in this version of the game. Now we're ready. And this time I won't derail. You know what, James? I'll let you go first. Really? Ah, that, that's amazing. Thank you, Gordon. Finally, somebody appreciate... Don't get so excited, James. He's just sending you out as the guinea pig. What? G G Gordon! How dare you! You're, you're, you're trying to... You're trying to get me killed! Well, not really, no. But I... I just don't want to be the one to crash first. Now go along. <sighs> All right, James. You have to make a decision here. Do you... Do you do the dignified and, and grand thing of going first? Or do you do the thing that will save your life and go second? I say go first. James, go second. James! James! Here I go! Here I go! Oh, would you look at that? This track was practically made for me. He's a goner. Gordon, what have you done? What? It was me last time. We all have to pay the price. I guess I ought to talk to the fat controllers first. It's going really slow. But he's being careful, Gordon. Unlike you, got into a derailment. Oh, are you going to hold that against me? I probably should. Don't know if I will. I think we need some music up in this joint. It's really quiet. Uh, director, do you think you could overlay it later? Director? Director, what is he talking about? Uh, apparently Diesel 10 is filming this entire thing. What? Oh, good heavens. Here I go! So that's what Oliver was sleuthing around about earlier. Trying to figure out who the spy was. It's just Diesel 10 selling this on pay-per-view. Oh, for the love of... Hello, my dear controllers. How are you fine gentlemen doing on this day? Well, we're doing fine, James, but, um, I've got some bad news for you. Oh, God, what is it? You're pulling the vans. The vans? Ah! But then again, you were very respectful when you pulled up to us, so I think you get the privilege of pulling the conflats. Oh, yes, thank you, sir. Ah, I love those guys. I mean, I don't really love them, but they're not the worst. This is our day, boys. We may be really low, but honestly, my spirits are high. Yeah, for once. Except for Ricky. He's really bummed out. Well, I don't blame him. Life as a con flat is pretty grim. Oh, God. I forgot how depressed these guys were. Ugh. Oh, he's so low. Low, low, low. I don't do low. I'm high energy, baby. I'm James the Red Engine. I only wish my music was a little louder. Maybe orchestral. Mmm. Imagine that. A symphony of James. Oh, makes me shudder. Do you think James will be kind enough to take Ricky to therapy? Maybe. I hope so. I really need it. James, slow down. You're gonna crash into us. Don't worry, you lows. I'll go slow. 
Oh, and James, we've got a little bit of a request for you. Oh! Ah, oh, jeez. Little fast. Uh, yeah, what is it? Uh, Ricky needs to be moved, uh, to the, uh, to the, to Edward for therapy. What? I, I'm not doing that. Who the hell is Ricky? Uh, that's me, back here. Why would I do that? Because he needs it. But wh wh which one is he? He's the third from the back. He's having a really hard time, and Edward's the resident therapist. Please? Ugh, I... It's bad enough that I have to pull trucks, but now I have to take them to therapy, too? Ugh. Please. Fine, fine. I understand the importance of mental health. I, after all, am a very forward-thinking engine. How am I going to do this? Um... Oh, jeez. All right, Ricky. I'm taking you with the rest of the train, and then I'm backing you to Edward. Oh, wait, hold on, James. That doesn't sound like a great idea. Oh, come on. Now you're going to tell me how to do it? Uh, unbelievable. Look, if we do this, we do it my way. Understood? Understood. Okay, good, good. End of story. It's done. It's finished. It's figured out. It doesn't feel figured out. Shut up! Ugh, Jesus Christ. These wagons are something else. You know what? I'm sick of this. Percy! Where are you? I need you to shunt those trucks onto my train. I'm not backing these things up. You know what? Ricky, I'm leaving you on this siding. Edward can come back for you. Uh, I guess that works for me. Percy! Where are you? Percy's not here. Where is he? Yeah, he's, he's up on Thomas's branch line. God, we've been on this weird map for one day, and Thomas has already claimed a branch line? Ugh, unbelievable. Well, why can't he come down here? Uh, he's stoned. He's stoned? What do you mean by he's stoned? You heard me. He's, he's stoned. You mean baked? Wait a minute, wait, wait. They baked Percy, and they didn't bake me?! I have to settle for this lousy reskin job that doesn't even match my tender? Uh, am I the only one on this island who knows what baked means? It means it means a, it means a 3D model with a lot of weathering. That's what it means. It actually has shadowing and stuff. I know. I went to art school. Okay. We've cleared the junction. Now somebody's got to bring me those trucks. I'm not picky who, but it's got to be somebody. Apparently Percy has uh, gone AWOL. I suppose it ought to be me. I've got to get over there anyway. Or I could do it if you really want me to, Edward. No, oh, no. It's my beauty here. I can see that. What are those? They're horses. They're trying to take our job. Damn right we are. Did they just talk? Oh, I'm afraid so. Oh, God. What kind of world are we in? This turntable is awfully jerky. Ah. Well, hello, Edward. Um, hello, Alice. I didn't realize I was... I'm sorry, did I just miss, like, two hours of time? I, I flipped around. Did I... Am I back? No, I think the turntable's just a bit glitchy. Uh, all right. You know what, it's it's for the best anyway. I'll do this backwards. And so, Edward slowly backed up towards the train, ready to buffer it on to James. I'm sorry, since when do we have a narrator? Who the hell are you? Uh, I'm, I'm Lemmy. What? What is that even? What uh, the? Oh, you mean the lead singer of Motorhead? That's what you mean. Stop giving me pop culture references. Now is not the time. Oh dear, Edward. Edward, slow down. Uh, well, to be fair, you weren't at the controls. Ricky, Ricky, look out! Oh God, why does this stuff always happen to me? Oh, ow, ow! Terribly sorry, Ricky. Uh, I uh, wasn't looking where I was going. 
It's okay, Ricky. We got your back. Literally. I'm rolling. Oh, I stopped. Okay. Let's go. You know, you could have said something about this therapy session before the consist was created. What can we say? We may be low, but we're troublesome trucks all the same. Yeah, I suppose that's true. Oh, well, this is a rather artsy angle. All right, then. Yeah, well, it's going through my chassis. Oh, whatever. Alright, time to reverse. I hope James is on the right line. Mother... <laughs> I am totally on the right line right now! James, you need to move forward a little. God, why? Do I need to take another one off of you? Uh, off of here? What, do I have to take one of you to soccer practice now? I swear to God, you guys are unbearable. Ah, oh, this is heavy. Whew. Ah! Oh! And here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, go, go. No, we don't, no, we don't, no, we don't, don't, don't. Oh. I feel low. Well, you are low. I swear to God, if Edward doesn't stop in time, it'll be the death of him. Oh, there's our most useful engine, Edward. So pleased to see that you're hard at work. I wouldn't recommend going around calling me the most useful engine, considering that there's a lot of engines who get jealous. Thank you for the advice. Sometimes I think he should be running the railway. I thought that myself, but then I, look into, I looked into the laws around it, and apparently it's not legal to have a steam engine run your railway. So, uh, it didn't work out. You always were the most liberal, controller. And I was the most conservative. Oh, goody. Let's get into a political debate, shall we? Let's call Gordon over here while we're at it. Okay, and... Oof! Terribly sorry, James. All right, you're good to go. Now, I'm going after Ricky, um, and uh, you take this train. Now, James, the last thing I want you to do is go through the countryside without looking where you're going and crash through some buffers after all this hard work has been done. You understand that? Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. I wasn't really listening. Um, goodbye. Uh, oh, backwards. Uh, no, forwards. Ugh, that James is going to get into a hell of an accident, if you ask me. I heard that. I know what I'm doing. Oh, gee. Oh, jeez. This is a heavy train. But I can handle it. I can handle anything. I'm James the Red Engine. Yeah. He says his own name an, an awful lot. Okay, Ricky. Time for our therapy. You know, this switchyard is a lot better than a lot of the ones we have on Sodor. It's actually quite nice. I quite like it. Ah, uh, no one's coming for me. No one's gonna give me the therapy I need. God, would you shut up? I know. My fellow coaches, this, this, this slab of plywood is just absolutely unbearable, wouldn't you say? I would. I mean, he's constantly complaining and, and, and being all depressed. Boo-hoo. You're hurting my feelings. Now, you coaches be nice. Ricky's been through a lot. Oh, dear. Ricky, brace for impact. Oh! Ow! Ow. Even the people who care about me can't help but hurt me. Now, don't talk like that. 
You and I are going to have a nice long talk, and you will feel better. Thank you, Edward. Thanks for caring. You're welcome, Ricky. Any time. Here, let's go on that nice siding over there. Though, you know what, on second thought, it's probably better for me to stay here. I imagine I'll be needed at some point. All right. Ah, oh, look at that guy over there, being pulled by horses. He probably has such an interesting life. Unlike me. Oh, don't say that. I've just got to find a nice out-of-the-way spot. Oh, God. I thought I would be on the on the main line in five minutes. When I let James go first, I, I thought he would crash and burn quickly or get out of the yard quickly. I didn't expect that he would take so long. Gordon, shut up. Do you want to fight? Yeah, sure. <laughs> now, hold on. If there's a fight, I'm referee. Oh, dear. Where's Edward when you need him? Huh. Tutoring some... Uh... Flatbed, I think. Oh, that shed over there looks like a good place to be. That'll be a nice, uh, comfortable space. You and I can be alone in there, and you can vent your feelings, Ricky. That'll be nice, won't it? It'll be really nice. I haven't been able to do that in years. To be honest, I haven't felt anything but sadness in years. Well, that changes today. And here we... Oh, goodness, wait, what is... Oof! Oh, I've been found out! Oh, my God. Alfred? Is that you? Uh, no. I, I, I was going to use this shed. I, I, uh, it doesn't feel safe in here. It feels like it's occupied by a mad bomber. Well, to be honest, you have every reason to be afraid right now. Oh, God! I have to get out of here. I have to... Oh, oh no. I can't be seen like this! I'm a freak! A freak of nature! Oh, 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 God! What am I? What have I become? What am I? Oh, God! Oh, God! I don't know what to make of that. To be honest, I'm feeling a lot of schadenfreude right now. I kind of feel... Glad that's not me. Well, maybe that's a place to start then. Let's go back to your childhood, Ricky. Okay. It all started when I was a tree. <laughs> oh, what the hell is that? I don't know, but I'm going after it. You're not getting away from me, you freak of nature mutant Alfred. This ain't Sodor Fallout, you know. This is Sodor in the, uh, the, uh, to be fair, I don't know exactly what it is, what the route is called, but it's not Sodor. But it's not Sodor Fallout, that's for sure. You following Donald or not? I'm gonna stay behind. And by the way, you almost crashed right there. Look at him slinking away. Away from the... Uh, away from us. He thinks he can get away. No, sir. Oh my god! I should have been paying attention. I, I recognize that, okay? I'm aware. I'm aware. Oh god, stop. No, no crash. Please, please. Oh, I can't crash. I'm too young. Too young to crash. No, no, please, please, please. You are an utter idiot. I know. I mean, really, you crashed into us. Like, you weren't even paying attention. I was checking my phone. You're what? He has a phone? What year are we in? Uh, I don't know. Maybe, uh, 2021? That's what the game says. We are in 2012, idiots. Okay. James, you're not really doing a very good job of pulling us. Shut up, flatbeds! Ugh. Wait, what were you guys doing over there anyway? Well, uh, we were, uh... Excuse me! I don't like being ignored! Neither do I, Ben. We should be part of this conversation. Well, you're not, pipsqueaks. Got twins on twins. I can barely handle it. You know what? Fine. It's time for my super rescue, bitches. What? What are you saying? No! No, stop! I am finishing the job! Oh, dear. We're really in for it now, aren't we, Bill? Indeed we are, Ben. This is going to result in the biggest train wreck of all time. And it's going to be James's fault. As long as I get to the top station, I don't care what happens next. Bring it on, baby! 
Meanwhile, on the other side of the map, Alfred was being chased down. Or at least I thought he was. Oh dear. Oh dear. How far could they have possibly gotten? You know, it occurs to me, Yard Manager, you'd want to switch the points off if you haven't already. Oh, thanks. I didn't, uh, think about that. Is that sarcasm? No, genuinely, I'm not very good at my job. I kind of need, uh, oh my god, what's that up there? Holy crap on a cracker. I know, I see it too. Should I look up there, or should I ignore it? Well... In my experience, I think that as controller of the railway, if you witness every single mad happening that happens, you'll go and say. So, I'm gonna say, ignore it and hope it pans out. Oh, you would say that, wouldn't you? Me, on the other hand, I'm a proactive controller. I go and solve problems as they happen. You're the same one who put Henry in the tunnel, though, so that's not exactly fair, is it? That was me being proactive. He was a danger to the railway and he had to be bricked up. Until you realized that you were wrong, of course. Uh, <clears throat> it's getting hot in here. Okay, I'm looking up there. Screw it. Oh, there's nothing there. Guess it sorted itself out. Well, it really didn't, but uh, okay, whatever you want to believe. Oh, good heavens. What is going on down there? Let's see. Oh, those are lovely coaches. I do love those. Mm -mm. They're a little modern for my taste, but you know what? I'll take it. Who's pulling... Uh, 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 uh. I'm going to throw up. I'm going after these freaks. How, how dare they do this to these lovely coaches? That, that James, he's gone too far this time. Hmm, I'm gonna bide my time in here. Uh, though it is getting pretty uncomfortable. Pinchy made a real hole in the roof. Hmm, Diesel 10 biding his time for once. Can't say that that's ever happened before. Usually I'm the one who bides his time. Let's wait for the right moment. Preferably after the impending accident. Oh dear! Pip! Pip, do you see that? Pip? Pip, why aren't you talking to me, Pip? Pip, I'm seeing something really scary. I need your reassurance, Pip. Pip? Pip? Are you there, Pip? Pip? It's like she's not even alive or something. James, you're on this train? Damn right I am. I'm not giving up this one. I'm on the, I'm on the hunt, and I'm not giving up until I get to the top station. Oh dear. I'm not sure you're even on the way to the top station, James. We'll see about that. Meanwhile, the signalman checked ahead to make sure that there wasn't an utter calamity happening. Time for an utter calamity. Oh, the signal says there's someone ahead. Should I slow down? No, what am I thinking? I should charge ahead! I've never slowed down once in my life. I'm not going to start now. Spencer away! But then there was trouble. Oh, good heavens, stop! Oh! Oh! Oh, jeez! What happened? What? Oh! Was that Spencer? You twit! Oh, oh, gee, my tender, it's in the tree. Oh, oh, ow, oh, ow. Oh. You utter imbecile. I was trying to complete my job for once, and this happens to me. This is all your fault, Splodge. Hey, uh, only Diesel 10 gets to call us Splodge. Yeah, 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 yeah that's, that's uh, his name for us. We didn't even get to do anything with our express. Indeed. I wanted to pawn it off on Gordon, 
I wanted his narrow gauge coaches. Those would have been good, wouldn't they have been? They certainly would have. <sighs> Luckily, Gordon set the time to 15 minutes, so we are going to die a slow and painful death and then disappear in 15 minutes. So I guess we have time to finally make amends, you two. Oh, well, uh, to begin with, uh, I don't really like the way that you talk to us. You're really disrespectful. Ugh, are we going to have an emotional conversation? I just got away from Edward and that, that Ricky truck. Yeah. Well, I guess this is the end. Goodbye, cruel world. Ah. What the hell? <laughs> I finally got you, you bastard. I can't be seen like this. I have to get to the works. I have to... I, it's over for you. Don't you understand? You're off the rails. It's going to be 15 minutes until you're done. 15 minutes. No. No! Who set that time? It was Gordon. He's the one who did it. He wanted everyone to have a slow, painful death. He said it'd be more honorable. More honorable. There's nothing honorable about that engine. Nothing! Well, that's high talk from someone who has Thomas's face on him. You be quiet. And your wheels, they're all the same color. Even the tires are the same. Ah, oh, that's unreal. How did you get like that? Are those Henry's wheels just all in in the wrong direction? I don't want to talk about it. This is really something else. We knew we were going to cause some trouble, and we did, didn't we, boys? <laughs> Indeed we did. My only regret is not finding Scruffy. Yeah, well, don't worry. There are a lot of other trucks on the map. I'm sure that Donald's train will go and find Scruffy. Indeed he will. Wait, what are you talking about? You're, you're, you're gonna... No, no! You can't crash my brother! You can't! But we will! We'll find Scruffy, put him on the train, and then kablammy! <laughs> oh, God. I've got to warn him somehow. Wait. Uh, isn't Diesel 10 surveilling this whole thing? Diesel 10! I've never asked you for anything in my life because, frankly, I think you're a disgusting freak of an engine. But hear this. You've got to help my brother. You've got to warn him. You've got to contact him somehow. If you hear me, please do something. I'm begging you. Meanwhile, on the other side of the map, Diesel 10 watched in his surveillance shed. Man, this is gonna, this is gonna make a lot of money. Pay-per-view, baby. <laughs> yeah, not gonna help Douglas, though. It's going to be a lot more interesting for the viewers if uh, they see Donald getting a little crash. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you just say all of your plans out loud, hmm? I, uh, shut up! <laughs> Meanwhile, on the other side of the map... I'm really thirsty. I'm going to get a drink of water. Is that all right with everyone? Why are you so passive-aggressive today, Henry? Because you made it rain, Gordon. You made it rain, and I begged you not to. Well, it's not raining now. Yes, because you set it. You set the settings to uh, changeability. I don't even know what that means. Let's see. Where's the water tower? There's got to be one around here somewhere, right? Here, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between. Uh, this is going to everyone in between. Yes, like non-binary people, Gordon. I. Ah, uh, you're really not very, uh, you're really not very progressive, are you, Gordon? I most certainly am not. I am a hardcore conservative, and I'm proud of it. Oh, for the love of God. You know, sometimes I really have to get away from him. Now he's made this whole thing political. Great. Probably calling me a tree hugger back there, I imagine, as he always does. Oh, oh dear, oh dear! Well, hello, Henry. Oh, hello, Edward. Do you know where the water tower is? Um, no, I can't say I do. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm not sure there is a water tower. Oh, no. Well, you know, actually, I think there's probably a water feed pipe in here. That might be, might be enough if you want to join us. Is that okay, Wiki? Yeah, I actually kind of like Henry. I get along well with him. Okay, good, because I almost got into a really big political debate with Gordon, and I, I, I honestly, I need to talk about it. I, I, don't, I don't like arguing, Gord, uh, Edward. You almost called me Gordon. I, I didn't mean it, really. Oh, God, oh, God, stop! You're going too fast!
Uh, never mind. Well done, Ricky. You, you stopped panicking very quickly. Well, I, I'm trying my best. Okay. How are you doing, Ricky? I'm doing pretty good, actually. Edwards really helped me, taught me a lot of coping tactics. Yes, well, I've picked up a lot in my time. Oh, and there is water in here. There's a little feed pipe. All right. Well, count me in. And, uh, by the way, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between, it is now time for our intermission. Because I'm thirsty. And, uh, frankly, no one can talk for this long without getting a nice cool drink. I don't mean to point anything out, Henry, but I heard an awful slap. Uh, you know what that was? I, I believe I slammed into the printer on my way out of the room. Uh, I don't know what that means, but alright. Anyway, where were we? Uh, I was talking about my uh, freshman year of college. It wasn't fun. But Edwards helped me see the positives. I'm glad to hear you say that, Ricky. Let's proceed. And so, while the three friends had their therapy session, Gordon finally decided it was time to act. That's it. I'm done waiting around. James has taken far too long to clear the yard. Uh, excuse me. Telegram. Telegram. What? What? What do you want? I'm here with a telegram from, uh, up the line. It's about James. Well, what about him? He's dying. <gasps> no. He can't be. He can't. He is. He's, well, your, uh, your 15-minute rule, it's bought him a little bit of time, but he doesn't have long. He's gotten in a serious crash. I must go see my friend. I must. Before he dies. Why did I send him first? Oh, God, the dread, the guilt, the shame. I will find him, and I will say my goodbyes. Call ahead. Make sure the line is clear for Gordon the Big Engine. And so they did. Sure enough, James was still there, but he didn't have long. I've got maybe five minutes until I stop existing. I gotta be honest, I used to hate diesels. But talking to you guys and understanding where you came from, hearing your entire origin story, which was very fascinating, I mean, that could have made an entire movie. Really, just just hearing it was enough. I, I, I am just truly astonished and entertained, and you know, anyone who gets the privilege of hearing what I just heard, uh, they're very lucky. Yeah, well, we're not going to repeat it, so, you know, it's it's really good that you you listen real close. Yeah, and well, you know, when you hear a story that good, you just got you got to pay attention. I didn't like it very much. No, I didn't either. It was just it was so epic that it 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 uh it, it made the water slosh around in my tanks. Yeah, me too. It, it it made me queasy. It was so badass. That's the only reason we didn't like it. We all we all loved it is the point. It was really good. Really, really good. Really good. <clears throat> I'm not ready to die. Gordon bucketed along the... Shit, where is he? Oh, God! That was a coach! 
That was an exp- Wait a minute. Spencer! Uh, Gordon, I, uh, can explain. Wait. My own cousin is dying, too. No. No, this can't be. No. No! I must get to the top. I must. Come on, Gordon. Really push it. 87 isn't enough. You must go faster. No. No, I'm on the lower loop. I've wasted time, precious time. I have to get up there. That's the way up. The signalman will guide me. Then again, why should I trust him? He didn't send me in the right direction the first time. Hmm. I just hope he sets all the points correctly. Did you see a switch change up there? I did, Mr. Oliver. Did it divert to us? Well, there are only two ways for this track to go. Uh, for a second there, I thought you were going to say there are only two ways of doing things. <laughs> As if I would ever say that. I mean, I used to, but uh, then the Great Western Railway betrayed me, and, uh, well, you know, I don't exactly look at them well with a, with a, I look at them with a heavy heart these days. Um, anyway, those points are set towards us. I hope that doesn't mean anything. I'm sure we'll be perfectly safe, Mr. Oliver. I'm sure you're right, Toad. It's time to fight! You know, I think it's probably time I go after him. No, no, don't, don't! Well, why not, Stepney? I think I should. I mean, it's only right. I'm pulling passenger coaches. I think he'll listen to me if I'm pulling passengers. That's a good point. He'd just brush me right off. But you're not going to be able to catch up with him, Stepney. Ah, well, we're both A1s, aren't we? That'll be enough. I don't think so. I think that's just a name. I don't think that... Never mind. Oh, jeez! What the hell are you doing here, Oliver? What the hell is this? Gordon's shortcut? Uh, well, uh... Oh, fine. You're coming with me. I'm going to grieve the death of my friend James. And also my cousin, Spencer. And those coaches, too. Lovely coaches. Ugh. Wait, hold on. You're, you're saying that James is... is He's a dead man walking, Oliver. He doesn't have long. We have to get over there. We have to pay respects to him. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there or bust. Up the line, James was still there. But not for long. God, where... Where is everyone? I thought I'd be able to say my goodbyes to at least a few people, but no. No one comes to see James. The death of James. God, there will be mass suicides. Nobody in the... I imagine that half of the population at least won't be able to live a happy life anymore after I'm gone. Are you really this narcissistic? I think it might just be that he's, he's hamming it up for the camera. I am not! I forgot there was even a camera here. Oh, I bet you're just eating this up, aren't you, Diesel 10? Yeah, of course you are. You know, we were supposed to scout out a location for the boss. Y yeah, yeah, we were... I mean, well, actually, we were looking for that spy. Spy? What spy? What, what, Oliver was was uh, going around looking for uh, Diesel 10's cameras. I mean, he, he found out that Diesel 10 was uh, filming this entire event to sell on pay-per-view on YouTube, and, uh, well, he wanted to find out our plan. Yeah, that's right. So, uh, we, we, we were sent out to stop him, but we didn't exactly do a good job. No, you didn't. You were just sitting there, and I ran into you. You're terrible at your jobs. But, you know, I have gained a lot of respect for you since you told me that awesome story. So, I think that I... Oh, God. Well, I guess we know what order we crashed in. <laughs> James! I'm here for James! Oh! No! Oh, no! I'm sorry, Gordon. James just disappeared. No. He was right over there, Gordon. Right over there. 
Oh God! No! No! Oh, the humanity! Oh! Oh! <laughs> I may have Thomas's face and these weird wheels, but it brings an old engine joy to see you suffer, Gordon. <sighs> Alfred, it'll bring me joy to see you vanish, and I will before long. So let's just wait here and see it. <sighs> you bastard. You know, Gordon, I really appreciate that you raced here when you heard that something happened to James. Oh, God, he's gone. Now I'm stuck with Oliver and his auto train. And there's my tender down there. Well, Oliver, I must say, in our final moments of life, I do quite respect you. Oh, do you? I know you said I have resource and sagacity, but I didn't really register that... You respected me in general. Oh, I do. I've lost a lot of dear, dear siblings in my life. Dieselization, it hit me really hard. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I. You hear something? I do. It sounds like... Uh... Sounds like something, someone's coming for us. Is that Stepney I hear? Meanwhile, down the line... I can't believe I just witnessed all of that. Good thing I was here, not on that stretch. God, Thomas could have put me on that stretch. I could have been dead. That's it, I'm going to talk to him. Ew. My engine is not sounding particularly healthy. Yeah, that's another thing I've got to talk to Thomas about, I suppose. Here, it's time for cab view. Oh! This isn't my cab. It doesn't even have the right number of windows. Oh, jeez. Daisy, incoming. Daisy, stop! Daisy! Percy, get out of the way. Percy, Percy! Oh, no! No, 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 no! Stop! Daisy, stop! Oh! You went into my cab! Sorry! Percy, my coach is Percy! Oh! Percy, stop! I swear to God, I will kill you. Percy, Percy, stop! 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 Stop in the name of God! Thank you. Daisy, what the hell is your business here? Well, Thomas, I was almost hit by three runaway trains. Okay, and that's my problem. Why? Because you put me on that line. Look, Daisy, it's not my fault that there wasn't any good place to place you. Oh! You and I are going for a ride. You're going to talk to Gordon on his deathbed. What? He's, he's on his deathbed, Thomas. He's dying. I witnessed it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I've got to talk to him. I've got to, I've got to settle the score. I hear more puffing. Someone's on the way. Oh my god, oh shit, oh, ow! Thomas, no! My boy, my son! You are, you are, what are you talking about? Jeez. I mean, I know we have kind of a mentor relationship, but that was really overt. I'm on my deathbed, Thomas. I have the right to be dramatic, don't I? This is my last moment, my last breath. Ah, oh, don't be so dramatic. You got ten minutes left. Good thing you cranked up the time. Uh, I did it to give everyone a slow death, an honorable death, a soldier's death. I never expected it to be so miserable. I expected I would be the first to go, that I would make the noble sacrifice. Are you kidding me? You sent James out to die because you didn't want to go first. That's not true. I don't know how you, why you think that, but uh, whatever you heard through the grapevine, it's not correct. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say, Gorn. Whatever you say. So, we're gonna die. It appears that way. Yes. And we're going to die baked, too. A shame. Yeah, to be honest, I really wasn't looking where I was going. Those points were just... 
they were badly damaged, but to, to be honest, I am so high that I didn't even think to do anything about it. You've killed us all, Thomas! Are you kidding me? Uh, Thomas, as much as we do love you, you have to stop getting high. Well, what can I say? I'm baked, and that's pretty awesome. I can't believe it, Thomas. I had more respect for you than that. The fact that you would get baked, really. I would never stoop so low. I'm sorry, what do you mean by get baked? I... He does look different, he's not as shiny, is that what it means? No, no, it's about getting high. No, I can confirm, it is about... Uh, never mind. <sighs> These X's are awfully ominous. Oh, don't worry, Toby. Everyone's being awfully dramatic, but between you and me, I think we'll be back the next time. Or do you really think so? Well, it's not a guarantee, but, uh... Yeah. Well, to be honest with you, Henrietta, I'm pretty tired of life anyway. You would say that, wouldn't you? Look, I'm just saying, I thought I was dead back on back in East Anglia. I never expected that, uh, you know, I would be rescued. I mean, I, I was kind of prepared for my death to come about. Um... That's awfully grim, Toby, but I can't say I disagree. Stepney! Hey, mates, what's going- Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Stepney, stop! 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 Jesus Christ! No, stop! Stepney! No, 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 no! You're gonna crash! You're gonna crash bad! Stepney! Yep, too late. You're dead. Oh, jeez. Are there no signals on this rail where they actually work? Well, uh, not really, no. They, all, they either show the wrong- Thing, or they show the, uh, they, they just, they're broke it in general. Oh dear, so many of our sister coaches derailed at once. It's a sad thing to see, really, Clarabel. Indeed, Annie, I think that as well. <sighs> you know, you guys, this is, was easily a preventable accident. I mean, you didn't have to do this. Yeah, well, I was baked. What can I say? Well, I'm baked too, but I looked where I was going. No, you didn't. You crashed just like the rest of us. All right, fine. I may be a little bit baked. <laughs> Stepney, my man! <laughs> man, you are really baked, Thomas. <laughs> but I am too, I'll, I'll be honest. <laughs> high five, Stepney. What the hell just happened? Uh, we high fived. How? Never mind. I, you know what? I'm baked too, so that explains it. I can't believe I'm witnessing this. Such a disgrace. Oh. Good Lord in heaven, take me already. Have mercy. I don't want to have to witness all of this. Oh, Tom, foolery. You are really high and mighty right now. You know that, Gordon? I know. You know what? I think the respectable thing is to die off screen. So, I'm going to do that. I will allow somebody else to take the limelight. I will trade the torch to my next in line. Whoever that is. Unfortunately, Gordon did not list an heir, and naturally, Emily assumed it was her. Well then, I am very ready to... No, not the horses, me! Oh. No, that's Edward. Yes, there we go. Have you no shame, Emily? Gordon's only a, a few minutes dead, and, and here you are, already taking his place. Well, somebody has to pull the narrow-gauge coaches, Duck. You know, Gordon never even wanted to pull those coaches. He hated the notion. Said that it was a, a real disgrace. Yes, well... I'm not Gordon. I can't believe that James and Gordon and Thomas and Percy and Toby and Stepney are all going to die. It's a real shock to me. I feel quite awkward myself. I'm Alice, by the way, not Emily. It's hard to tell. I know. Um, I feel quite awkward because Gordon was kind of the only engine I had any tie to here. I mean, no offense, but I don't really know the rest of you. I mean, I, I might have in Wild North Western series, but I didn't really know what this cannon is. I wouldn't look for a cannon if I were you. There is no rhyme or reason. If you ask me, somebody needs to bring the law to this lawless land. And that's going to be me. I'm going to stop the derailments. Duck, don't be a fool. You can't. 
I will. I I know I will. Oh dear, I hear Emily puffing. Hmm. I would guess that if she's left the sheds, it's because there's a train that's worth pulling for her. Yes, but the only train I could see Emily having any attraction to is the narrow-gauge coaches. I know her quite well, you see. I know. Um, I don't know why she likes them so much, but, um, hmm. Wait a minute, but Gordon's on the narrow-gauge coaches, isn't he? Well, that's what I thought. Oh, God, is he okay? I... I don't know. Oh, my, she really overshot the platform, didn't she? Well, you know what they say. An overshot platform is just an opportunity to make new friends. Well, that doesn't really make any sense, but you know, I appreciate the thought, Ricky. That's what matters. Yay! Hey, how are all my flatbed brothers doing? I'm sure they're absolutely fine. Good, because I'll be honest, if I found out that all my flatbed brothers were dead, or something like of that nature, I honestly would digress back into my depression. It would be really serious. I'd probably take my own flatbed life. Ah, uh, well, I'm certain that's not the case. Oh, for that... Oh. Really? Really? Signalman, what is going through your head? Hello, I'm talking to you. What? Uh oh, sorry. Uh, I was I was uh, playing my Game Boy. Your what? Yeah, uh, never mind. I'm doing a good job. I'm a really good signalman. We're going to have to talk to the signalman. I agree. He's killed too many. Derailed the entire express with Bill and Ben on it. And James. And the flatbeds. And Splatter. And Dodge. And also, Alfred apparently was on our railway. Didn't know about that. And he looks terrible. And, uh, and Gordon. And Oliver. And I don't need to hear any more of this. It's too painful to hear. If you ask me, we should just fire the signalman outright. Kick him to the curb. But you've got to think about this. After all, father, he has a family. Seventeen kids to feed on a shoestring budget. I don't care. Kick him to the curb and build a brick wall in front of him. Now hold on, you two. There's got to be a good compromise here. Let me twiddle my non-existent mustache and talk about it. Oh dear, um, it's a mixed goods, everyone. Mixed goods? This is on the schedule. Don't check it, but it's on the schedule. Is she serious? I, I have to do something about this. There it is not safe to go tender first, let alone push a train of that magnitude. I, I have to intervene. I have to intervene. Oh, please don't leave me here, Duck. I feel like I'm the last picked at gym class. Well, sorry, Alice, but you kind of are. You're a great character, but nobody really knows what to do with you because, well, you're not really from whatever this is. G go talk to Wildmore Wester or something. Oh. You horses? Uh, yeah, that's us. We're horses, all right. Well, hear this. You are in for some trouble. When the apocalypse starts, usually horses start eating other horses. So, um, buckle up. Apocalypse? What is he talking about, an apocalypse? I think he's, he's, uh, over-dramatizing uh, over the fact that Emily's taking a mixed goods backwards. Is that right? Well, all right then. God, I didn't realize the horses actually talked. This is terrible. Now, all of this is terrible. Why aren't we on Sodor? Why are... Oh, God. This is really troubling me. Everything about this is wrong. 
and I'm speeding backwards too. I only hope I can catch Emily in time before she starts an accident. And through the tunnel we go. Hey, excuse me? What, what who said that? Oh, we're the narrow gauge coaches. Oh, Jesus! Emily, you are reversing direction at this moment. Oh, for the love of God. Really, Doc? Really? You just can't let it go, can you? You're still jealous. Jealous of what? You're jealous of the fact that I took your place in the franchise. I took my what? I... I don't follow. Oh, come on. Don't you... Don't you look at the internet? No, I don't look at the internet. I've got work to do. Well, well I'm... I've taken your place. I, I mean, I'm not anymore. Now, the, the show's gone through a few iterations since then. Emily, I don't have time for whatever this... Yeah. Look, James is dead, alright? We're done with the pop culture references. I think it's time for my catchphrase. Ah. Did anyone hear that? I said, I think railways are slow. They're not much use and quite out of date. Top speed! Oh dear, what's going on here, old chaps? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Harold is on the rails. Harold, you're supposed to be enforcing the law. Well, things have changed, old chap. I've got to make sure everything is shipshape. I'm sure that I'll find any trouble down the line. This is a catastrophe. Emily, we have to back this into a siding somewhere. We are on the main line. It's not safe. Well, I'm sorry, Doc, but you just can't overpower these big wheels. I am stronger than you, and a hell of a lot bigger, too. Well, I don't know what to tell you, Doc. Maybe you like the chaos. Maybe that's why you're going backwards with me. That is absolutely wrong. You think you know me, but you don't. You know what? I don't care if Pip doesn't have a face. I'm going. Points. Hmm. Do I smell a duck? Yes, I think it's time for me to enter the story. Before he dies. Or at least, if he does crash, I should flaunt my victory over him. You know, I wish my arch enemy was still here. Unfortunately, Thomas Garding went and got himself stoned and then got himself crashed. Dumbass. Go faster! No. Emily, I am serious. So Gordon's really gone. Holy shit, is that Harold down there? We could be in for some real trouble. Here, I'm calling ahead. Uh, this is Doctor Control. Um, I, uh, I need you to switch us on to a siding. Uh, bravo. Uh, I mean, uh, pronto. Sorry. I, uh, I, I feel like I just got a little bit of residual pot smoke. You're not putting us back on the signing we came from. It's the only safe thing to do, Emily. We've got to. No, I won't. This train is supposed to be my, my magnum opus. It's a crowning achievement. I've been wanting to pull the Narrow Gauge Express for years. Frankly, Emily, I don't even know if the Narrow Gauge Express has existed for that long. Well, it has, and I've wanted to pull it a very long time. Well, what about that goods train? I'm pretty sure Henry was scheduled to pull it. Well, Henry is having therapy. Duck. It's important to him. I know that. But he has a train to pull. And we shouldn't be going backwards with a train of this size. It's dangerous. We're going to get run into by someone. I don't know where Harold is on the network. Some Somebody should check ahead. I'm sure we'll be fine, Duck. I just think we're cutting it really close. I don't want to take any risks here. 
You never want to take any risks. A big part of leadership is taking risks, Duck. Routine flyby, chaps! Hello! Oh. <sighs> he could have been on our line. But he wasn't. But he could have been. Emily, you're letting your ego get in the way. We've got to hurry up. I thought you didn't want us going backwards. Well, we're halfway there now, so the safe thing to do is to go back to the yard. Oh, goodness. Okay, how do I put this in a way that doesn't absolutely devastate you? Uh, uh, go, go on, uh, say it. You're fired. What? Sorry, Signalman, but you're fired. You just simply can't work on this railway anymore. You've killed half the engines. It's just, it's not gonna work. I have, I have 17 kids to feed. I, I, I on a shoestring budget, I, 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 uh, I, oh, well, now that you put it that way, I don't know if, I kind of feel bad, honestly. I, uh, no, no. You are fired. That is the way it has to be. You have failed the railway, so I don't care if you have children to feed. You have to go. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, ho, ho, ho. I feel really bad about this. I yes, well, you also preserved every damn engine. You know, when I bought those things, I didn't expect them to last a hundred years. Well, I'm making sure that they keep up in ship shape. No, you're not. What the fuck was that? Routine flyby, chaps. Hello. If this is absolutely. Oh. It's disgraceful. He's lapped us. No, no, wait. This is a good sign. That means he's on the same route. That means he's on a circuit. So, so we're not in any danger then. He's not going to change tracks or run into anyone. I guess that's good, but I d why is he so fast? Well, it's more the fact that you're slow. How dare you? Oh, dear. Hold on. Let's move out of the sheds to see this. Duck, I see that you've, uh... Brought the train back in. I was certain that was going to derail. Well, I was going to... I was never going to let that happen, Edward. You know me. I don't stand for nonsense. I can see that. Never should have doubted you. Oh, dear. Honestly, I feel kind of bad. While I've been in here giving therapy, you've been saving the railway. Well, not really. Do you realize how many engines are dead? What? Do you realize... How many engines are dead? D dead Who's dead? Uh, well, <clears throat> let me start at the top of the list. James. Oh no! Oh good heavens. No, don't, don't freak out yet. I, I've got like 30 more names. Oh my god! Oh god! Are any of my brothers on there? Uh, how do I put this in a way that won't devastate you, Ricky? Uh, each and every one of them. Uh... Is dead. Oh my god! <laughs> oh god, you've undone hours of progress. Just lay it on me, Duck. Who else is it? Well, um. Gordon. Oh god, no! Thomas. No, what? Percy. Oh god, oh, this is terrible. Oh. I, uh. Spencer. Eh. Yeah, I didn't. I don't really care about him. Me neither. Um, there's, uh... Was that Harold? Yes. You know what? Emily, you relay the rest. Uh, be delicate about it. Of course I will. I know best. Of course you do. I'm going after Harold. Somebody has to stop him. Duck, hold on. This is, this is no close shave. He's going 112 miles an hour. You can't catch up to him, no matter how hard you try. Just watch me go, Edward. I'll stop him. I know I will. Harold was supposed to protect this land, but now he's gone mad. And it's up to me to stop him. He's out of his gourd. Well, he's just lost a lot of people, Duck. We all have. Oh, my brothers! Oh, God. I've got to find a changeover somewhere. I need time to get up to speed. Oh, I can't believe it. So many deaths in so few days. 
really is something. Really makes you think. But the signalmen had other plans. They can't fire me! I refuse to be fired! I'm gonna help you, Doc! You're welcome! And he changed the points! Now, Harold was on Duck's line, racing up behind him. Routine flyby, chaps! Hello! Ah. Time for my catchphrase. I don't think anyone can hear my catchphrase. No one knew for sure what had made Harold snap, but he had snapped. He was on the rails, and he was going fast. Faster than the speed limit of the Northwestern Railway. Certainly faster than the American speed limit. He was unstoppable. But Duck didn't believe as much. This is so boring. So you're saying basically everyone but us is dead? Well, I don't think... I don't think uh, Donald is dead. But, uh, yes, Thomas, uh, Gordon, James, Percy, Toby, uh, Douglas, and Oliver are, are all dead. Oh, God! I can't carry the big engine's dynamic on my own! I'm not interesting enough! Oh, God! <laughs> oh. I... We're going to need a lot of therapy after this. All right, enough of this. I'm going out there. I overheard that my brother has died. I've got to avenge his death. I don't know how, but I'll... Damn it, I'll find some act of heroism to engage in. That'll be enough to make him proud. Don't worry, doggy. Don't worry. <laughs> but the signalman. Well, actually, not but the signalman. The signalman ag uh, agreed with uh, Donald and was helping him out. He set all the points. All right, then. If Donald needs an act of heroism to redeem his brother, then so be it. Well, let's see. Where's that scruffy guy at? The signalman, of course, was an idiot. This should be obvious to everybody by now. Pip and Emma had died. Uh, they didn't get far. Oh, God. So I'm dying alone, then. Without Pip. Uh, well, excuse me. We're here. Your coaches? Uh, oh, right. Sorry. Kind of forgot that you exist. Is that mean? It seems mean. It's really mean. There was only one way up the line. Douglas would have to pass through Pip and Emma's wreck. He would never make it. Duck was chasing after Harold in the meantime. And Harold was heading for trouble. Or, uh, Duck, I... Oh, where's Harold? Oh. Oh, jeez. Harold was in the ground. Oh, no. He was right here. For one brief moment, I flew. And those were his final words. Duck, on the other hand, didn't realize what he was racing into. The question is, will he be able to stop in time? I will stop, Harold. With every fiber of my being, I'll stop him. But Duck's railway regulation senses kicked in. What? What? I feel something. A tingle. There's trouble ahead, I just know it. I've got to reverse. Emma would have warned him, but of course, she wasn't alive anymore. <gasps> Stop! Stop! Damn you, railway regular- Oh! 
No. No! Who will keep order now? Who will keep order now? And that was the end of Duck. That only left three engines. Edward, Henry, and Douglas. A man on a mission. I've got to do some redeeming act. Something that Douglas would be proud of. Also, I think the narrator called me Douglas. I don't appreciate it much. Meanwhile, nobody quite knew what had happened to Diesel. I wasn't expecting that. <sighs> I like to think that me and Duck derailed at the exact same moment. I believe that there's a uh, apt quote for this. Perhaps something akin to Jefferson lives. Of course, nobody heard Diesel's uh, rather arrogant and uh, overly poetic ramblings. So he just died in that cavern. Get the camera off of me. Get it off. I'm pathetic. Get it off of me. Should we kick into action yet? Nah, not yet. Let's wait for all the engines to crash. Then the horses will rule the rails. Yeah. I've got to stop those horses, thought Alice from across the yard. Damn. I even scare myself. <laughs> hmm. Where are my wheels? You know what? Where we are going, we don't need wheels. You know, maybe I should slow down. There's a lot of blind corners around here. But would he be able to stop in time? Is the real question. Oh dear. My railway senses are kicking in again. I can't blow my whistle, but I can shout. Is that metaphor friendly? Uh, who cares? Donald! Donald, stop! You don't know what you're in for! Donald rocketed along the line at a breakneck pace. Oh, actually, no. His brakes work really well. I heard duck up a hit. Donald, you hear me? I do! What's going on up there? Look, I've derailed. No. Duck, you can't be serious. It's true. I, uh, I'm dead. Essentially. You've got to carry on my work. You've got to instill order. Listen to me. I've been housing Scruffy up at the furthest most point of the mountain. You've got to get over there. And you've got to smash him. Smash him? Are you serious? I've never killed a truck before. Or a brake van or anything of the sort. I may be able to rough up the brake van now and then, but... That's... I don't know if I can perform an execution. You have to. Without us engines here, without Oliver to keep him in check, Scruffy will take over the railway, or whatever remains of it. You've got to get over there and you've got to take him out. In a suicide mission. Are you serious? I am. Boko's there guarding him. Making sure he doesn't escape. We have to make sure he never does. Alright. I can't live without my brother anyway. I've lost Dougie. Now, it's time for a suicide mission. Now, 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 hold on, buddy. Yeah, we wanted you to go collect Scruffy, but not like this. Yeah, uh, I, I really, really don't want you to do it this way. Come on, please. You can't do this. Please, please. Do what you've got to do, said the brake fan. The man in his cab just smiled. Oh dear. Looks like I've had some of the bad cold today. <sighs> All alone. Dead in the water.
It seems my wheels have disappeared. Not ideal. I do wonder, as Duck sits, slowly dying, does he think the same thoughts as I? Does he share the same regrets? Does he perhaps... Uh, come, come, come back! No, hold on, stop! I have more monologue to give! Oh. How long am I going to have to wait? Oh, what a sickly thought. I've got to wait for my friend to disappear before I can continue along the line. Don't feel bad about it, Donald. It's it's crucial for your mission. I understand it. Your duty. Oh, to hell with it. Duck can't stop me now. I'm going. Of course, Emily didn't realize the way the points were set. She didn't realize that she would end up. Well, actually, she won't. But let's make it that way. Oh, dear. Oh, God. I need help. Someone? This is my chance to be relevant to the story. Yes! I guess I'll just wait here as long as it takes. <sighs> Emily, you can't handle it alone. Yes, I can. Shut up. Very well. Meanwhile, the narrator struggled to find Alice. I wonder if anything interesting is going to happen to me. I guess I'll just wait. And so, as Beethoven once said in his final moments, God, this is starting to get boring. Come on, all the interesting guys are gone. Thomas is dead, Gordon's dead, James is dead. Is there anybody else who matters? Maybe Percy, he's fun to kick around. <laughs> God, I gotta get out there. Or else I'm not even gonna be involved. Alright, let's get moving. But I'll go nice and slow. That way I won't crash. Not right away, anyway. I'm worried about Alice. She can't really get out of the sheds. I'm sure she's fine. You know, actually, no, I'm not. I. She doesn't seem fine. Yeah, Henry, I'll go check on Alice. Uh, you go uh, and take Ricky to Emily's train. Maybe it'll cheer him up, being around other trucks. There's nothing that can cheer me up at this point. What's the point of life? What's the point when all my truck brethren have been thrown off the edge of a cliff by James the Red Engine? I knew he hated trucks, but this is a whole new low. Oh, God. What's the meaning of life? Is there one? Why am I even asking? I know there's not. Oh, God. Ugh. I love him, but he does have his, uh, he gets grating after a while. Hurry up, we're not gonna catch up to Emily. I'm going as fast as I can. See that? Edward the Blue Engine about to come around the corner. Oh uh, yeah, look at that. You two don't try anything. I know your game. Oh, do you now? <laughs> Those dastardly horses. Oh, Edward, you're still alive! Of course I am. Why, of course? 
I don't know, I just know how to not die. Oh, never mind. <sighs> That's what I get for being arrogant. I'm sorry, Alice. Uh, it's okay. I just wish I could have at least gotten the chance to crash. <sighs> See, this is what happens. I pat myself on the back for a second, and I go through the back of the sheds. Humility, Edward. Remember it. I hope Ricky's okay. <sighs> go it, Emily! You've got it! I don't know if we can do it, Henry! We can and we will! Meanwhile, at the very top of the cliffs... Okay, this is too slow. Gotta kick it up a bit. Meanwhile, Donald was waiting, and Duck was still sitting. Ugh, this is taking forever. Look, Duck, as much as I love you, I, I kind of wish that you'd just die already. <laughs> Diesel was gone. It seems that his poetic message of dying at the same time as Duck was just a load of bull. Like most of what he says. Oh, dear. Come on already, Lord. Take me. Take me! You've taken all the others. Hmm. All right. God, do I need to spell this out for you? There are two ways of doing things. The Great Western and the wrong. You're doing it wrong. Why take all my friends but not take me? Hmm? Hurry up with it already. I swear. Is he lecturing God up there? Ugh. Maybe that'll make him angry enough to take him. Then again, is that even a God? Damn. I didn't realize this whole little social experiment was gonna make everybody go so crazy. I mean, the Scottish twins used to be heavily relig religious. Now all of a sudden, you know, Donald doesn't even believe there's a god. Look at that. <laughs> and, uh, and Edward, he actually did something stupid for once. He crashed through the back of the sheds. Didn't expect that. <laughs> uh, and Gordon's dead, and James is dead, and Thomas is dead, and... Uh, uh, do I have anyone to face off against anymore? Well, my humble viewers, uh, wh what are you thinking? You liking this so far? It's not going to be edited in the slightest, so uh, y you better take what you can get. But hey, I can do my claw thing. Look at that. That was revolutionary when it came out. Anybody who remembers that, uh, put, uh, type Pinchy in the chat. Yeah. Type it for, I, I remember when, when the Panagraph Diesel 10 with the claw came out. Yeah. Still badass. This is taking way too long, Emily. I know, just hurry up. Then again, I don't really want the goods, do I? Uh, Henry, darling, you know I love you, right? Uh, yes, uh, of course. Why? That sounds like you're about to betray me in some way, and you don't want to hurt my feelings. No, no, of course not. I just... Look, goodbye. Emily? Emily, what... You're still there. Oh, uh... Okay, well, don't be upset. I was going to run off with the train, but it didn't really work. Here, what about in the middle? There we go. Um, we're frozen. Emily! Uh, sorry, I didn't... Well, I kind of knew that was a possibility. Oh, stop, stop. Oh. I could have saved myself, but I didn't. And now I die with a bunch of Bullstrode vans. Honestly, I welcome the sweet embrace of death. Shut up, Ricky. We'll be back in the next session. Wait, really? Will my brothers all be back? 
course. Everyone will be. So just calm down. You're just saying that to make me feel better. I'm saying it to make us both feel better. Damn you, Emily! I'm still going slow as all hell. Oh, goodness. Is my middle driving wheel even touching the track? Well, that would explain it, wouldn't it? This is taking absolutely forever. And now the track is clear. Time for me to do what I do best. And smash some trucks. I mean, I've never done it before, but uh, I'm trying to be brave here. If I could only get out of the sheds. I know. I wish I could literally get out of the sheds. Instead, I'm stuck in the wall looking at my own ass. Ugh. Good lord. For what it's worth, Alice, you don't want to be out there on the main line right now. I kind of do. Alright. Time for us to get a move on. Wooey! Yeah. Time for the horses to rule the roost. That's right. Look at us. Yeah, baby. We're some fine horses. Oh, yeah. I don't really like being pulled by horses. Also, I have an inkling that my siblings have all been brutally murdered by James the Red Engine. And also a betrayal that Emily forsook... Uh, forsook... Uh, uh, I don't even know how to say the word forsook. Come on, come on! Let's hurry it up. Let's go! Let's go, let's go! Oh, we're going zero miles an hour! It seems to me that we're going 0 0.2 miles an hour. So there's that. Come on, we gotta get on the express. You're not gonna be able to pull the express. Sorry to crush your optimism, but it's kinda what I do best. God, this guy's way too low. Down in the dumps, huh? I say we ditch him. What do you say? Yeah, baby. No, don't leave me behind. Just joking. See if I care. Wow. Those chains are just staying in the air. I know. I'm kind of surprised, to tell you the truth. For some reason, it's really difficult for us to slow down quickly. Uh, don't know what that's about. Time to back into the express. And do what we do best. Meanwhile, uh, it's time to figure out if Donald's dead or not. Well, nobody's gotten to me yet. <laughs> So that's something, isn't it? And no one ever will. I will prevent them from getting to you. Oh! So, we got ourselves a little tin kettle trying to go and mess with my buddy Scruffy, huh? Not if I have anything to say about it. You listen here, you big bully. My brother got taken out today, and I've got to avenge him, any way possible. And sure, I was gonna take out Scruffy, but you know what? Maybe I'll just take you out instead. It's time to go, Ten. What? You're kidding me. I'm getting out of here. I'll track you down. I'll chase you. Chase you into the depths. Chase you so far, you won't even know where you are anymore. I've lost everything today. I didn't lose my brother to dieselization, but damn it, I'm taking this diesel down. Alright, don't panic, Ten. Do your claw thing, that always makes you feel better. 
Yeah, look at that. I'm amazing. All right, I gotta get the scruffy in fast. Oh, slow down. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Slow down. All right, got this. Let's see. I'll be cheeky about it. I'll divert that uh, foolish steam engine. Hey, Mavis, back up. What? Back up. Diesel Tan, get away from me. Fine, I guess you're coming with me then. No, I didn't clear the points, hold on. I would never work with you in a million years. Yeah, yeah. I, I gotta... I gotta help somehow, I gotta stop him. Hey, Boko, long time no see. You, you stop. Stop in the name of the law. Yeah, right. Like I'm gonna do that. I don't respect no laws. Alright, Scruffy. You're coming with me. I gotta protect you, buddy. Hey, wait. Uh, Mavis is behind you. What? No, that's... No, that's not true. <laughs> Why would you ignore me? I... Oh! No, 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 no. Stop! 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 No! Ow! Oh my god. You insufferable little shunter. How could you? You said that I was, uh, that I wasn't gonna be able to stop you, huh? What could I do, I recall you saying. Damn it. Hey, listen, Ten, I appreciate you trying to help me, but you're kinda crushing the life out of me right now. Yeah, God. For the love of... <sighs> I... Wait, hold on a minute. I'm the one running this shindig! I'm the one running this show! What's gonna happen when I die? When I disappear? When I disappear, the whole thing ends. For everyone. <laughs> Alright, bring it on. If that's what it takes to bring you down, then so be it. Yeah, so be it. Meanwhile, Donald didn't realize that his prey had already been uh, attacked by Mavis. Actually, Donald didn't realize much of anything because he's nowhere to be found. I stand corrected. I don't mean to be disrespectful or anything, but uh, what's this weird looking Boko doing in here? That's my backup, Boko. Say hello, backup, Boko. Hello, I'm backup, Boko. For all your backup, Boko needs. Ah, uh, all right. Uh, why exactly do you need a backup? I uh, was concerned that if I got taken out, Scruffy would roam free. But uh, that's not happening anymore. Well, what do you mean? Ah, uh, well, go see for yourself. Oh, I already see it. Hey, down there! Is that Diesel 10 too? Oh, this is great. Oh god, this guy's gonna come see this now. Yeah, bravo! You failed to kill me. Instead, Mavis did your work for you. A diesel. Yeah, well, good on her. Good job, Mavis. You took him down. Both of them in one go. That's a real brawny move, that is. Yeah, well, thanks, Donald, but I paid the price for it. It's all over. Yeah, well, to tell you the truth, I've heard a rumor that it's just going to start up again in a... Ah. Uh, I'm on the wrong track, aren't I? Yes, you are. Here, maybe... Oh, no, wait, wrong way! Wrong way! Uh, stop! No! Look, I didn't mean to do that. I know you didn't. I know you didn't. <sighs> well, I guess we're going out on a high note, huh? We defeated Diesel 10. Well, to be fair, I let Diesel 10 get right past me and almost set Scruffy free... 
and Mavis is the one who stopped him instead of you. So, really, we didn't do anything. You can at least, at least let me have that. Ugh. Well, then. I see how it is. Damn. Well, Scruffy, we had a good run, didn't we? What are you talking about? I've been back here for ten years. Nobody's using me. I didn't even get to kill Oliver. Well, if it's any consolation, Oliver is long dead. Wait, really? Oh, yeah. He ran into Gordon in the... Mm, real messy situation. <laughs> That's good to hear. Uh, I can die happy. Yeah. And Thomas is dead, too. Died a few feet away from Gordon. <laughs> I can die happy, too. You two are a bunch of sociopaths. Yeah, well, you're the one who killed us. Because I had to. Because you wanted to. Face it, we're all a bunch of psychos on the Fat Controller's Railway. Meanwhile, Henry remained crashed. <sighs> Surrounded by bullstrodes. This is how I end my life. Very well. Any last words, Ricky? I'd like to thank the Academy for never putting me on television. I never would have belonged there. Ugh. I'll be honest, there's not much left. Slim pickings. Oh dear, Edward's already gone. I'm all alone here. All right, I'll be honest. Don't say it, Reg. I'll be, no, I'll, I gotta be honest. Don't say it, Reg. We done fucked up. God, you said it, Reg. Ah. Oh. I just, I, I, I don't know. I thought, I, I, I thought the points were set. I, I you should have known, Reg. Listen, listen, Beefus. <laughs> My name's not Beefus. It's Buford. I call you Beefus. All right. I... I failed the express. We took this thing and we crashed it off the tracks. We thought the horse's day was coming, but... Boy, was it not. Well, we'll get him next time, won't we, Reg? That we will, Beefus. Buford. Beefus. Oh, this is the most shameful thing that's ever happened to a coach. If Gordon had taken us, everything would have been different. But no, the fat controllers, those... Incompetent fools who just watched all this happen. Well, instead, they put Gordon on the narrow gauge coaches, and then Gordon died, and then Emily took them, and then she mashed them with vans, and for some reason they didn't crash, but we did. It's not fair. It's a thankless job. Indeed, it is. You know, at least we didn't kill all the engines. What you're talking about? Yes, we did. I'm pretty sure there's at least one or two that survived. Would you look at that? I might just be the only survivor. Hey, Scruffy. What do you say is uh, one last parting gesture? We go through all the all the security feed. See what happened to each and every engine. Heh, <laughs> I'd like to see that. Oh my god. You guys are freaks. Alright, let's start with whoever this one was. Oop, dead. <laughs> uh, dead. Oh jeez, look at Henry. That's a mess. That's worse than the Kipper. Not that I saw it, of course. Uh, oh, the horses. Yeah, they're in bad shape. Uh, let's see. Oh, dead, dead. What? Oh, you're kidding me. Emily's still in action. Come on. I will get to the top station. I, I, I mean, I will get to the top station. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why I became Mavis there for a second. Uh, it's fine. I'm not having a psychotic break because everyone I love is dead. Uh, let's keep going. Uh, that's... I think that's me. Uh, probably Mavis... Or no, dead, dead, dead. Dead. 
Uh, man. Both Bocos out of commission. Mavis. Uh, wow! We actually killed everyone in this session. I'm impressed. Really impressed. You know, you realize that the next session, Thomas is coming for you. What do you mean? Well, I mean, I, he's... I mean, he, you set this whole thing up and he ended up dying. He's not going to appreciate that. And he had to watch Gordon die in front of his very eyes. I mean, that's not great either. And Gordon had to watch James die. I mean, you set this whole thing up, Diesel 10, just so you could put it on television for pay-per-view. Now, hold on. I, I'm no television marketer, okay? This is YouTube stuff. I'm putting it on YouTube. By the way, how you feeling, audience? You liking this so far? And when I say so far, I mean in totality, because it's pretty much done. I'm about to disappear, I bet. But somebody's got to take Emily out, if you ask me. Or she'll take herself out. You know, I mean, that broad thinks she's a lot smarter than she is. I don't know. Emily's pretty damn smart. It's just that she's got an arrogant streak. The signalman was still rogue and still ready to pounce. <laughs> Alright. Well, I've killed all the other engines. I guess I have to kill Emily, too. In the very same spot that Diesel died. Emily's replacement dying where Diesel died. Man, that's poetic. No, it's not, said the ghost of Diesel. You idiot. There's no irony in that. Oh my god! Ghosts! Only me! No one else has unfinished business on Earth, I suppose. Ooh. Whoa! Hold on a minute, when did I get so fast? I, I, I mean, when did I get so fast? Why do I keep becoming Southern? Well, I don't know, but this is great. This is wonderful. Oh, oh no. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 Stop, 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 stop! Oh, God, no, no! Ow! But Henry had stopped existing. At least the last thing I got to hear was Henry's voice. Oh, poor fool. <laughs> A death in the forest. You know, this is actually fitting. Henry would have loved a death like this. Oh dear. Oh, no, no I have to put out my my smoke. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's... Oh, no, it's setting a fire. Forest fire! Someone! Someone do something! Where's Harold when you need him? Oh, right, he went mad and became a railway engine. Oh, goody. I say we just sit here and wait until we disappear, and that's when it ends. What do you guys say? Sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan to me. I don't think anyone is gonna watch this. It's like three hours long and it's not edited, and it's, you know, why don't you shut up, okay? People are gonna love this. They're gonna eat it up. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yeah. That's disgusting. Why, why'd you have to do so much of that? It's just how I am. It's how I roll. God, it's really stormy. I don't remember setting the settings this way. That was Gordon. He decided to, uh, make it rainy just to spot Henry. Oh. Damn. Did we catch that on tape? I don't know. How many hidden cameras do you have around here? Eh, like 10 or 20. <laughs> and that idiot Oliver, he disabled half of them. Until he crashed. Glad that happened early on or he might have shut the whole program down. Can't have that. So, uh, seen any good TV shows lately? Yeah, not really. 
Yeah, not not real. I don't really watch TV. I got too much work to do. Right. Uh, so the weather is clearing up. Uh, rain's gone. Yep. Yeah. Uh, look, I'm just gonna stop stop saying anything because, uh, frankly, Ten, uh, you're kind of boring. I'm not boring. I'm the most interesting character there is. I don't know. You don't really have anything to say. Well, shut up, Scruffy. Who needs you anyway? Damn, I killed the entire main eleven. Who would have thunk it? I don't really think you can take credit for that. Well, it, I did it, okay? No, I, I'm saying you didn't do it. Yeah, I did. No, you didn't. God. How long is this going to go on for? Take me, Lord! Come on! I'm sick of life. Yeah. Alright, well, I guess I'll do my ending monologue. So, viewers, hope you enjoyed this little uh, catastrophe. Uh, I've been Diesel10, your honorable host, and, uh, this has been Diesel 10's uh, Crash of Palooza. Where are my wheels? They just disappeared. Uh, look, when I said take me, Lord, what I didn't mean just take our wheel. And so we reach the end of our story. And now it's time for all of us to go home. Just like Thomas. Okay, well, actually, Thomas uh, died in a train wreck with the other Farquhar engines as he watched Gordon perish in front of him. But don't worry, it's fine. Because they'll all reset next time, and uh, they are definitely not going to be pleased with Diesel 10. Let me tell you. He's in for some trouble. Some real trouble. Um, anyway. Oh, look, there they all are. A-OK. -okay. Until next time.